Alright guys, so in this final video of this painting, I'm gonna show you how I paint the um, Indian ladies of this painting, right? So I used color pencils and a small brush to paint the expressions on their faces and so what I did was I used um, these you know, um, black color pencil to um, paint, uh, to, to draw her eyes first and using a little bit of the white to kind of like do some highlights. And so when it comes to human faces, when it comes to all these facial features, it's really very intricate. And so um, by using the color pencil, this can really help us to uh, make sure that we have very good control when it comes to doing the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and so on and so forth. And actually trying to make sure that we have all these you know details that are being um, added in in a very accurate way so that um, they will look convincing for, uh, when we actually look at a painting right so using the the white we are doing the um, eye and of course using the black we are doing the outlines but just trying to add in some of those details when we um, add in all these different kinds of things so using dark brown i'm just trying to make sure that we have um, all these um, features of the eye and so we have this uh, white which again is done um, because we, we want to have some highlights on the face and then we have um, the use of this dark brown to make sure that we have you know and also this red um, this light brown um, to make sure that we have you know all these features that are being done all right so we have all these very um, interesting things that are going on and we have um, all these features and again this lady here is pretty special because we have this left arm of hers this left hand which is covering um, partially her face so it kind of like make it a little bit more difficult for us to do the details well because it's partially covered so we will need to make sure that the nose and the mouth uh, can still be seen from the side coming from the side of the of the hand right there and so just trying to touch up some of the details that we see uh, in this painting right and so we will need to make sure that we have all these different kinds of lines you know like all these uh, yellows and all these you know browns that make up the face and of course um, on her hair at the top part we can see that I actually left white so that that actually shows the reflection of the sunlight right so now we are using the yellow color pencil to paint and to draw the bangles that she's wearing on both her arm her her, her hands and her arms and so I'm just using um, different reds, oranges, yellows and pinks to make sure that we have all these different colors on the costumes right so this is um, the second time I, that I'm actually painting these Indian ladies and again this scene is taken from the Diwali festival so again we can see all these very amazing kinds of costumes that you know I've taken when I was there in Jai Salma in 2018 and that was a time when they actually had this um, Diwali festival or the Deepavali where all these women are actually wearing all these very nice saris and I captured a lot of photos um, when I actually um, wandered around the place and thankfully the weather was nice it was a sunny day and so these women in all these you know in this very nice weather is some some um, very nice things that I captured um, very nice scenes that I actually captured using my camera because of this amazing festival right that is happening right there so in terms of art this has actually given me you know a lot of materials when it comes to um, drawing when it comes to painting in watercolor these are really amazing things that I've always wanted to paint and so we have <clears throat> the use of this small brush to kind of like do the um, some of the lighter areas of her dress right of a sari and so using that large brush I'm using that large brush I'm just trying to combine these different areas together so again we see the use of different kinds of reds different kinds of uh, all these you know different strokes that will actually you know give us a lot of 
um, very interesting and very attractive kinds of folds and so I'm just trying to recreate this kinds of uh, method okay just very quickly showing you how I combine these different rates together and so when we have all these different rates that will give us a lot of interest when it comes to all these you know rates that are being combined together and of course with a little bit of yellows and a little bit of um, darker reds that will give us you know even more kinds of variations when it comes to colors and so by adding this um, dark browns um, and some yellows that will actually add in more patterns and more colors for the sari itself and so we have all these different colors and different strokes that will you know add in more things on the sari so again using that small brush using that those color pencils this will actually help us to have all these you know different kinds of things and you can see right now that this woman right here is actually come alive because of these amazing details that i just did and she's walking towards us with her feet one of her feet up so right now i'm just doing the hair of the other woman Okay, you can see right now that the hair again is not completely black because I added some brown tones and that will give us more interest for the hair. It looks softer with that brown tones and of course adding in some of the orange and red and yellow tones that will actually give us, you know, all these very, very nice colors. So adding a little bit of that pink tones for the woman, for the lady at the back. So that will also give us more interesting colors with some pinks and some light yellows and some orange and also of course using my brush to add in a few strokes at the side so i use different browns and orange to paint the skin right so right here you can see that i actually use this very nice combination of orange and brown to paint part of the arm because the other half is actually lighter because of the sunlight again i'm trying to um depict the skin tone as accurate as possible and so to, to depict skin tones we actually use mostly browns and orange and yellows and a little bit of dark brown if it is darker and of course trying to you know make sure that um, we have some parts darker and some parts lighter to depict the volume of the arm the body and so on and so forth so that is the way to depict skin tones right so again adding in that darker layer because it is not dark enough so just blending in with the rest and this is how we actually create the arm with that very nice skin tone right there, right? So these are some, you know, amazing um, techniques that I'm just trying to share with you. And this is how you know, we actually do all these things. So again, adding in some orange um, so that the, the arm there is um, more, it looks warmer with that warmer colors because it is actually reflecting the light that is coming from the sun. All right, so now I'm just trying to um, paint the arm of the lady at the back right so I really find a lot of joy to actually paint these um, amazing human figures because these human figures although they are small as compared to the rest of the scene they really add a lot of life especially because their costumes and their you know um, the, the their demeanor and their facial expressions and the hair and the sunlight and the the dress and everything that they're wearing and all these things really add a lot of very interesting and very you know um, attractive kinds of um, features and um, things that actually attract the viewer to look at a painting because they are so you know attracted by all these very nice um, kinds of um, things that we see on the costumes and right now I'm actually using some of them pink and brown and brownish kind of pinkish uh, tone to actually do the face and you can see right there I'm actually leaving out some parts white because those are the reflected areas because of the sunlight so again using the color pencil to kind of like uh, make sure that we have all these you know different kinds of uh, uh, browns that are being combined connected well with the costume right so we have this brown darker strokes that make up the chin 
and right now I'm just using the color pencil to kind of like add in some of the facial features and we don't want to leave it completely white or completely blank because uh, we want to have some of those features that show how uh, where they are looking and how they are feeling and um, it is pretty appropriate to have all these um, things that make up the face so that we can see her expressions also and that will enhance the painting right here with all these very nice expressions um, that you're seeing right now and so you can see that she's looking downwards and she's got that nice smile and also she's kind of like walking very carefully and you actually see how I you know did all these different kinds of features using just a color pencils alone using these few color pencils I'm able to recreate all these um, facial features that I'm actually seeing Right, so this is one way that we can depict, um, you know, <clears throat> all these um, human uh, features on the face that will attract the viewer to look at because they are attracted to human faces and they will be very interested to find out how they're actually feeling. Are they smiling? Are they, you know, anxious? Are they, um, you know, are they, how are they actually feeling or where are they looking at just by looking at their faces and these are some amazing techniques that you know I've just shared with you you can use the color pencil to kind of like help us because of the very small area so by using the brush it is almost impossible to paint in all these features and so by using the color pencil that is something that we need to do in order to fill in all these details so using those yellows and those light pinks and those uh, blues I'm actually trying to um, do all the bangles and all the things that she's wearing and of course using that black color pencil just trying to touch up the fingers so that we can see the black lines between each fingers and again using some of those orange and some of those um, browns I'm just trying to make sure that we have all these amazing um, colors that are very nice to look at and these form um, most of the colors on their saris right so it is very important for us to depict all these saris in a very attractive way because this is one of the attractive things when it comes to photographing um, these uh, scenes in India especially the people yeah, um, there's a lot of interesting culture and the, the costumes are are really attractive and of course the buildings and the whole scene itself is really attractive and so I've decided to actually um, go there for my painting trip and take all these photos back so that I can show you guys how I actually painted all these amazing scenes using just my head, my eyes and my brush and that is something that I want to you know um, show in terms of techniques that you can also try to uh, learn and try to apply it and of course um, this is very important when it comes to um, painting in watercolor because some of the techniques are not as straightforward and um, I hope to share with you all these very useful techniques that I actually used to uh, paint all these you know details and all these buildings and the ground and the saris the costumes the facial features and the hair and everything else and all these things are really really very useful when it comes to painting scenes like this which are also very attractive to the viewer all right so we are almost coming to the end of this painting you can see how i actually use some of the reds and the browns to paint some of the details at the bottom part here and so we have seen how we can use all these different warm colors to depict all these amazing saris that you're seeing right now and using the brush to kind of like make all these changes and all these skin tones and all these you know uh, things that you see on the women right here and this is what i would like to share with you guys in this video series hey everyone it's ky tom here thank you for watching my video if you enjoyed my video please hit the like button and comment down below. Do consider to subscribe to my channel for more art videos. Check out the links on the description below to find out more about my art and I hope to see you in the next one.